Let me show you how I turned WhatsApp into a fully automated sales assistant using Anyten and Google Sheets. A customer messages you on WhatsApp with an inquiry. The bot greets them and guides them through placing an order. No apps, no extra steps. When they request a product, it pulls real-time inventory levels from Google Sheets. Once they confirm, the bot logs their order with their name, email address, quantity, price, all into the spreadsheet automatically. They can even then later ask, what's the status of my order and get real-time information back on it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this from scratch, even if you have no experience. Plus, I'll give you a free template so you can just download what I've created and use it yourself. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the agent here and to build it, we are using a tool called NA10. This is NA10 here. It's a really great bit of kit for building AI automations, AI agents, and we're gonna be building this from scratch. So um, I'm simply gonna create a new workflow within NA10. It will look a little bit like this. And what we're gonna do first of all is create the basic AI agent. Then we're gonna plug in the tools such as um, our Google Sheets in order to interact with the inventory and also to interact um, with the order list. So um, let's go in here and we're gonna search for uh, AI agent. I'm gonna click on that. There we go. Okay, so this is essentially the brain. This is what governs how everything works, how all the tools are used, how it uses the intelligence, how it remembers things. Um, and we need to connect up a few things. First of all, we are going to connect a chat model. So this is essentially the intelligence, which um, LLM model are we using? I'm going to search for Open Router. Open Router is a really cool bit of tech which allows you to connect to basically any model out there. Um, so I've got access here to uh, GPT-4, GPT-5 somewhere. We've got Quen, we've got Claude, we've got Gemini, we've got all of them essentially. I'm gonna go, um, yeah, 4.1 mini is fine. Doesn't really matter too much in this situation. And then also I'm gonna add some memory so that we can have a back and forth with the agent and it remembers what we're talking about. So on memory, I'm gonna go on simple memory and I'm gonna change this context window length to 10, which is essentially gonna be how many messages it remembers when we speak to it. Okay, so um, now I can give this a quick test by going open chat and going hello. And we can see that uh, that's gonna run and it says, hello, how can I assist you today? Good, okay, so now what we need to do is connect up to WhatsApp so that rather than speaking to the agent in NA10, we can speak to it via WhatsApp. So I'm gonna get rid of this here, uh, which is the trigger mode. And I'm gonna go over here and go add, and I'm gonna go WhatsApp. And I'm gonna go WhatsApp Business Cloud and click on that and go on, um, on message, which one is it? On messages, I think. I'm gonna click on that. And there we go, that's our trigger. And we're gonna drag that into the AI agent, which is essentially our brain. Now we're also gonna do the same on the output because we want a WhatsApp input, but then we also want a WhatsApp output as well. So on the output, we're gonna click on this and go, WhatsApp and go WhatsApp Business Cloud and go send message. Okay, so we need to set up a few things and actually there's a little bit of setup that goes into this connection with WhatsApp. You'll see if I click into the trigger, um, you need to have credentials. So you need to connect to a WhatsApp uh, account and I've got another video showing you how to do this. This takes a couple of minutes. I'll leave that link in the description. Um, so if you don't know how to set up WhatsApp within NA10, go and watch that after this video. And uh, that'll show you how to do that. Essentially, you have to go over to Facebook, you have to go over to Meta and set up a, an app over there. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes, nothing too complicated. Okay, so I've already got mine set up. So I'm gonna click on this one for my authentication. And we're also gonna have to do the same on the output as well. As I talked about in the other video, these are actually two different sets of credentials, which you have to set up differently uh, with Meta, with WhatsApp. Um, and we have to set up a few things here on the output as well. So I have to select my uh, sender phone number. So I'm gonna click on this one, which is my test number, which uh, Facebook gives me. Now to start with, in the recipient phone number, I'm gonna put in my phone number, but we're gonna replace this in just a second. So I'm gonna put in my phone number here um, and we're gonna go save. And now what we should be able to do is um, on Facebook, when you set this up, you're gonna be given a test phone number. You're gonna to want to go to WhatsApp, put that into your WhatsApp and we're gonna test it. So what we need to do is simply go execute workflow and it's gonna start listening. Then we can go over to WhatsApp, create a new chat with that number you got from Facebook when you set up the uh, WhatsApp automation. Okay, so let's give this a test. We are gonna go on execute workflow and this is not gonna to work to begin with, but we do need to test it in order to make several things work. So we're in WhatsApp, we are messaging that number that we got from Facebook and we're gonna say, hello. Now, if we go back over to NA10, we can see that the trigger was fired, which is great but we're gonna have some errors. 
First of all, we're not passing in any information into the AI agent. So what we need to do is change this from connected chat trigger node to define below. Then we need to click on expression. Then we need to go over to the left-hand side, find where it says hello, which was the message that we sent. I'm gonna drag and drop that in here. There we go. We will also need to change the simple memory. Um, so if we go on simple memory, we need to make sure that the session ID is uh, selected as defined below. And then what we need to do, um, okay, we can't access it here. So what we need to do is have a look in here and we're gonna find the phone number ID. And we're gonna note where this is. So this is under metadata, it's called phone number ID. So then what I need to do is come back over to simple memory. And I'm just gonna type in this little bit of um, JavaScript here, which is gonna be, dollar sign and then we're going to get whatsapp trigger we can see we can uh, go down to select that then i'm going to go dot and it's going to give us item i'm going to select that then dot again and then json and then dot again and we're going to go metadata dot um, phone number id there we go that's going to give us a unique number which we can use as the simple memory so if i save this now and execute this workflow hopefully if we come back over here and now say hello we should see, okay, we're gonna have a few more errors on the sending of the message. And there we see we get a reply, but it's not the reply that we want because we need to go back over it at N810. We need to go into this uh, send message node here and we need to change a few things. So first of all, the recipient phone number, we're gonna to need to change that from something that I've hard coded in into um, whatever number has sent the message. So I'm gonna delete what I've got in here. I'm gonna go on the WhatsApp trigger. I'm gonna go on the, um, from the messages from, find the phone number and drag that in. And then on the uh, text body, I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna drag in from the AI agent, the output there like that. Okay, now I can save this and we should have a working WhatsApp AI agent. So if I go execute, then we go back over to WhatsApp and I say, what is the capital of Italy? Send that off. And if we look at NA10, we can see that's processed. And I'm going to go over to WhatsApp. We can see the capital of Italy is Rome. There we go. So we've got a connection working. Now all we need to do is to hook up our CRM or whatever software that you use in order to connect it to your sales system. In this example, I am going to be using uh, Google Sheets, not a particularly sophisticated CRM or uh, uh, inventory management system. Um, but this is what I'm using in this example. So you can see I've got a Google Sheet here and I've got uh, a sheet with our inventory in and I've got a sheet with orders. And I've just uh, made some made up some information here or ChatGPT has made up some information. I've dropped it in here. Um, so what we need to do is connect our agent to Google Sheets so that it can read our Google Sheets and it can also write to our Google Sheets. So let's go over here. Let's go tool and let's go Google Sheets and click in here. If you haven't set this up already, you will have to uh, sign in with your credentials, which is simply up here on the credentials section, and you'll need to make sure that you are signed in to the correct account um, where you have your Google Sheets, right? So it can't be a different Google account. So once you have that uh, connected, we will want to select the document. So we want to select the name, so WhatsApp Sales Assistant. Then we're gonna want to select the sheet. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be looking at the inventory. So the sheet that I'm gonna choose is gonna be inventory. Now I'm gonna leave this operation as get rows. And what this is gonna do is essentially get all of the rows that are in this Google Drive document here. And I'm gonna rename it, um, get all inventory. Okay, I'm gonna save this and we should now, if we execute this workflow and we come back over to WhatsApp, I can say um, how many books are in the inventory. Oops, inventory, there we go. And we can see that my inventory is books. What we're selling here is books that the shop that we're pretending to be. We see that this automation has run within NA10 and we've got a response back. We can see that it connected to our inventory because we've got a little tick there. So we go back over to WhatsApp. It says there are 48 books in inventory, which is great. So we can see that it is connecting to our inventory. Okay, so in order to, to set up this automation, we need to be able to get our inventory, we need to be able to uh, essentially create your, an order and read an order. So I've got the inventory section, then I need to uh, go on Google Sheet again and add another tool. So if I go Google Sheet, and this one is going to be, uh, instead of get row, we're gonna go uh, uh, create, append or update a row. Uh, we'll go append actually, and we'll call this one create order. And the document is going to be 
uh, WhatsApp sales agent. The sheet is going to be orders this time. So for these values to send, so when we're creating the order, what values do we want to put within the Google Sheet? We are going to let AI decide all of these. So the book name, the quantity ordered, the customer name, customer email, order date, order status, total price, delivery address. The only value which we're not going to let AI set is the order ID. And I'm going to uh, make sure this is unique by going in order ID, then going uh, double curly brackets. And what I'm going to do is essentially get the timestamp of now so that every order ID is going to be unique, essentially. So if I go down to uh, two millis, to, so two milliseconds, um, that means that the order ID is going to be unique every single time, basically. Okay, cool. So we now should be able to create an order. Now let's go read an order as well. So let's add another Google Sheets tool and we go Google Sheets and we will select from the documents and we'll choose that one and we'll choose orders and get rows and we're going to rename this to get all orders. Um, and then I am going to create one more, which is going to be delete an order. So if I go Google Sheets, and then I'm going to go delete. That was the wrong one. That was delete a sheet. That's not what I want to do. I want to delete um, a row, and then go document, and go WhatsApp sales agent, and then I want to go orders. Then I'll let AI decide which row we're deleting and uh, how many we're deleting as well. Uh, and let me just bring that over here and call this delete order. Okay, so there's one more thing that we have yet to do. So now our AI agent has access to doing all these different things. However, it doesn't know when it should do which thing. It's got no context to understand, okay, when should I do this? Uh, what's the purpose? So if I um, give it a test and I go back over here, oh, go back over to WhatsApp and say, hello, it's not going to realize that it's a sales assistant. And in order to use this within a business, you want to give the AI agent some understanding that it is an AI agent that's meant to be as a sales assistant that's meant to book you sales. So what I'm going to do is I am going to open up AI agent. I'm going to go into add option and I'm going to go system message. Then I'm going to paste in this message, which I have crafted. It's quite long. Um, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but essentially I am giving details to the agent in terms of how it should act. So I'm telling it what its responsibilities are, uh, what it needs to do, how it should get the information from a user. Um, so for instance, here you can see how it should update or cancel an order. Um, I, it's going to talk about the conversation style. It's going to uh, list common scenarios and how it should deal with common scenarios. If you download this template, you'll be able to see all of this here and you'll be able to uh, copy this. You can also just ask ChatGPT to create a prompt for an AI agent that does whatever your AI agent does. So in this example, is a WhatsApp agent to help you sell whatever you're selling. And that's gonna give you something very similar to this here. Okay, so once we've got that plugged in, it now should be able to understand what's happening. So we can save this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on uh, the inactive thing here and switch it to active. And what this means, let's just get rid of those, is that we don't have to keep on clicking execute every time that we want to speak to it, which obviously doesn't make sense in the real world. Okay, so if we come back over to WhatsApp, I'm gonna clear uh, this chat so we can get rid of everything here. Let me find a book that I want to order. Um, let's have a look. Uh, we've got, yeah, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Okay, so I'm gonna say, um, hi there. And it's gonna understand the context, it's gonna understand it's an agent, and it says, hi there, what can I do for you today? Looking for a book or need help with an order? And I'm gonna say, yes please, can I order, can't hurt me, please. There we go, it's gonna go off, and you can see this is automatically running, we're not having to go over and keep on going, execute. Um, and it says, great choice, before I proceed, can you confirm the quantity, your full name, email address, and the delivery address? So I'm gonna say, um, one book, uh, Matt Penny, uh, Matt at testemail.com and delivery address is test house, London. Um, I, I don't know London's postcode, so I'll just go that that's fine. So hopefully that should come back and it should accept all of those. Uh, you can add in extra things here so that, you know, maybe it checks the postcode to make sure it's an actual postcode. Um, but it's come back with an order confirmation saying this is the price. Uh, it tells us how many are available in stock, the estimated delivery time. Again, you can change all of this within 
that system prompt. Um, and it says, shall I place the order? And I go, yes. Uh, there we go. It's going to place the order. It's going to come back with order confirmation. And once it does, we should be able to look into our Google Sheet and see. So there it says, order placed. Um, an invoice has been sent to this address. Great. So I can go ahead and pay that invoice. And that is that order dealt with without having to speak to anyone, without having to make a call, without having to go to a website. If I go over to Google Sheets and I go on orders, I can now see that that order there, can't hurt me, is here and it's pending. And I can even say, um, great, what is the, in fact, let me um, copy this and then clear this. I'm going to clear chat. I'm going to say, what is the status of the order? So then I'm retrieving from Google Sheets the status of that order. So it's going to have a look in its back end and says, your order, can't hurt me, is currently pending. Estimated delivery, five days. So there we go. That is how you can build a WhatsApp AI agent sales assistant within NA10. You can connect this to whatever you want. Here we have connected it to Google Sheets, which works for this purpose, but you probably want to connect it to, you know, like Shopify or connect it to your back end where you have all of your inventory. If you want any more information on how to get this to work for your business or for your clients, if you're selling this to clients, then come on over to the community. I'll have that link down below. Um, I've got a load of content in there and uh, I can help you with any support. Don't forget to download this template here if you want to implement this for yourself in just a few clicks. That is it from me. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please do give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.